If DaVinci Resolve keeps crashing or glitching right when you're editing your YouTube videos, today I'll show you the 10 most common problems and exactly how to fix them so you can get back to editing and upload on time without the headaches. The first one is if you can't hear audio during playback. Here's why you're not getting any sound in DaVinci Resolve. Click up top here and then go to preferences under video and audio. For Apple device, change the use system settings and pick the right device whether it's your headphones or your speakers, and then click save. The next one is if you're annoyed by the scratchy sound when you drag through the timeline like this, or from the timeline like this, that's called audio scrubbing. And if you want to turn this off, go to timeline, audio, and then uncheck audio scrubbing or use the shortcut shift S and you should be good to go. Next thing is if you want to add background music to your timeline, but the music is too loud, you click on the audio clip, then head over to inspector. And then under audio, you can drag this down to lower the volume. So once you hover over the track, it's not blasting every time you play the clip. If your clips are leaving gaps or it's overlapping by accident, you can turn on snapping by clicking here or clicking the end key for it to snap in place without overlapping. If you want to drop a clip on the timeline and edit just the clip, but not touching anything under it, you can head over to the main track and click auto track selector and you could continue editing from here. If nothing happens when you try to add a transition to your clips, you can fix that by trimming the clips and then try to add the transition again. Also, another reason why your transition is not working, make sure you're under video transitions and not audio. For example, crossfade won't work on the video, but it'll work on audio. If the timeline is lagging or the playback is too slow, here's how to smooth things out. Go under, go under playback and then render cache and set that for smart. You can also go to timeline playback resolution and change it to half or quarter. Also under proxy handling, make sure prefer proxies is checked and to use optimized media if available. Also, if you have too many clips or your videos 20 minutes or longer, you can select the clips, right click, and then choose new compound clip. Once you name it, it'll bundle up all the clips together into one clip. Before you use the compound clips, make sure to do this after color grading or when you're using transitions or crossfades. But if you want to undo that, right click on the compound clip, then under decompose in place, clip using clips only. This tip is when you're dropping a vertical video into the timeline. If you ever have this problem, you're like being in like resetting for your goals. Where the video and audio is out of sync, so your lips are not matching your voice. It's either the timeline resolution or the frame rate. So what you can do is right click on the on the vertical clip under clip attributes change the video frame rate to match the timeline. So for this example, vertical clip is 24, but the frame rate is 30. So change it to 30, click OK, and you should be good to go. We're not resetting for your goals. Give yourself break. Next tip is if you ever get the media offline error, go to the media pool and then right click the clip under clip operations. Select relink selected clips to locate the file or click the link button here Then click locate to relink media. You can also right click inside the media pool and then click relink clips for bin. For the last one, this is a common issue if you're on Windows. If DaVinci Resolve crashes and your monitor starts to look pixelated, once you restart your laptop, You'll probably get this message here that says GPU initialization failed. 
and it couldn't initialize OpenGL and to update your drivers. What you can do is go to device manager and then under display adapters, right click and then update driver and try to open DaVinci Resolve after that. If you're still getting the message, your next thing is to download the latest driver. So for me, I have AMD. I go to the AMD website to download the adrenaline software. So you click download software, then windows drivers, and then go through the process to install it. You should be good to go from there. But one more thing you can do is to go under windows, then system, click display and then graphics. And then under add an app, add desktop app, and then to find your DaVinci Resolve uh, program, go under program files, Blackmagic design, DaVinci Resolve, and then resolve. And once you add it, make sure to choose high performance for GPU preference. And by the way, if you haven't already, go to da DaVinci Resolve preferences, go to user, then project save and load. And then under save settings, make sure to check live save, project backups and timeline backups, and then click save. Also to avoid this GPU issue altogether, check your device manager now to update your driver or download the AMD or Nvidia driver just in case. If DaVinci Resolve has ever made you want to rage quit, these fixes should save you hours. When I come across more issues, I'll keep sharing some tips on how to fix them. So subscribe if you want more tutorials. And you can check out this video next for my keyboard shortcuts to edit even faster.